Assalamu alaikum. Today I will show you how to use uh, username and password and user access to uh, for the WinTech HMI. So <coughs> let's start with the WinTech HMI. So first utility manager. So I'm first uh, I'm just clicking Easy Builder Pro. Okay, I'm just clicking uh, select new and this is my HMI models MT6071i. Okay. Mm, this is just uh, one HMI. Uh, I can select PLC. Uh, here I can select PLC. A a any PLC, you can add any PLC here. Mm, just uh, I'm selecting Mitsubishi PLC. Mm, here is a uh, Okay, uh, I'm selecting just uh, my PLC, which we should actually PLC. Uh, then I'm just clicking OK. So uh, this is my work area where I can uh, put uh, buttons and other items. So I'm adding one uh, set bit, like this is my button, and I am making it local bit. And picture library, picture library. If I use search. I can I will get lot of picture option here. I'm just selecting this one <laughs> and add to project. Okay, this already uh, added to project. So uh, what I can do just I am making it toggle. That means uh, single click one, then again click it will turn off. So this is a button, and now uh, I will add a uh, light uh, into a bit lamp. So I am just adding a bit lamp in the same local HMI. So I am going picture library in the same way. Okay, I am just change the button. Uh, the, the, this light is at, uh, two states. So now if I just make it offline simulation, then uh, if I just push the Okay, so uh, if I just uh, turn on, this light will turn on, turn on, and if I turn off, the lights turn off. So, uh, how to make the user access so that uh, <coughs> if I just uh, click on this button, uh, this will uh, ask for username and password. So, uh, I am on the way to making this. So, I am adding new page uh, that is just login page. I am just adding new one. So, I am making just a little page size a little bit. That means uh, 300, 400, 200 is okay. Yeah, it will be square like okay. <coughs> okay this is my login page so here a uh, few options should be there like uh, there should be just text the text is username first of all I am just adding username people remember username here username so I am uh, adding one ASCII code, ASCII code here, uh, here is the ASCII, this one is numeric, this one is ASCII. So this ASCII is not a regular ASCII, this is a user function, I am clicking local HMI, in setting, that is system tag. Actually this is not system tag, this is user defined tag. So user defined tag, uh, this is USC username. So this will this data will take as username. Okay, I'm making it okay and okay. So this this area is for putting username. Okay. In the same way I'm just making copy and paste. So I'm making it password. Password. Okay. <coughs> In the same way I'm just making it copy and paste so this is uh, last one is the user username and this one is usc password so this will uh, treat as password okay so now what i need is uh, i just need uh, a login button <coughs> so um so for login button i am just uh, adding on uh, set word so for set word I am just making local HMI 
then user defined tag and that is use uac command that means user access command so this will treat a user access command and write constant value and just making it one so if it is one then it is login and if it is three then it is log out okay so i am make it login button okay. i'm just uh, giving a level for login okay in the same way i am making a logout button In the same thing just make it three okay okay so uh, to disable or to turn off this pop up i need a uh, close button so i am just making uh, taking a function here and so i am um, select make it uh, close window so if i just click it the window will be closed so i am going just shape and picture library Okay, so we have just, I have just uh, <coughs> add username and username box, <coughs> password, password box, and login. And this is just log out. I am making it just log out. Okay. Log out. <coughs> okay, so uh, my pop up button is okay. So, what I could that, uh, I am showing you where I, I can add US security system. So I uh, just play the system parameters, then go security. Then you see that there is two mode: general mode and enhanced mode. If I go, uh, enter the enhanced mode, then there we can add different username and different password. So I am just uh, and give name, username is user, and password is one two three. Okay. And the user is class A. Okay. So I am just making security chains and user restriction class a and uh, display warning message device is denied okay now check project offline simulation <coughs> that is password protected so it is showing password protected access denied so first if i just want to click this i need the uh, i need to log in here so i am just uh, adding uh, adding the login pop up icon here <coughs> okay i am just just login okay so if i click login here then login pop up will come and then i can login okay so try this i'm just making it save and okay this login function i'm making change a display pop-up window and the pop-up window is windows 15 okay. and i can also name, name the window as <coughs> login window so it will be more feasible <coughs> so this is just pop up window uh, with the login okay. okay so I'm project and offline simulation <coughs> you see password protected access denied okay so I'm login click here and clicking the uh, my username or user I have just make one mistake. This one word should be I'm making it three. So it will be more bigger word. In the same way, this one I also make three. So I can enter more bigger word. Okay. <coughs> now just offline simulation. Access denied. Login. Plus user. US user and password. Hitting enter. Now password is one two three. Enter. Now login. Now check 
that this is working okay I'm just clicking login and log out now this is not working thanks for